Your father, Amelia, will be the absolute death of me. Unless, of course, I strike preemptively. <laughs> Amy, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Right. Uh, you're crying. And so I am. Why am I doing that? Because you're happy, probably. Happy Mrs. Rory. Happy, happy, happy. No. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm really, really sad. Great. Why am I sad? What's that? Oh, uh, someone left it for you. A, a, a woman. What is it? It's a book. It's blank. It's a present. But why? Well, you know the old saying? The, the old wedding thing? Huh? certain aspects. Now then, it hardly seems a year since we... And someone so, so important. Amy, what's wrong? Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, everyone. But when I was a kid, I had an imaginary friend. Oh, no, not this again. The raggedy doctor. My raggedy doctor. But he wasn't imaginary. He was real. <laughs> Psychiatrists we sent her to. I remember you. I remember! I brought the others back. I can bring you home, too. Raggedy man, I remember you, and you are late for my wedding! I found you. I found you in words like you knew I would. That's why you told me the story. The brand new ancient blue box. Oh, clever. Very clever. Amy, what is it? Something old. Something new, something borrowed, something blue. It's the Doctor. How did we forget the Doctor? I was plastic. He was the strip box. OK, Doctor. I surprise you this time. Uh, yeah. Completely astonished. Never expected that. How lucky I happen to be wearing this whole thing. Hello, everyone! I'm Amy's imaginary friend. Awesome. But I came anyway. You absolutely, definitely may kiss the bride. Amelia, from now on, I shall be leaving the... Kissing duties to the brand new Mr. Pond. <laughs> no, I'm not Mr. Pond. That's not how it works. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Right then, everyone. I'll move my box. You're going to need the space. I only came for the dancing. 